All right. Bubble of Strikes here. And we got to talk about these. So, I, I, I'm still, I'm thinking the title of this video is Quantum Mechanics Coming to WoW Change Collection Farming Forever. And they do. So listen up. I don't know if it's been shown where these come from yet. They're either going to come from the Timeris or the Mega Dungeon. Either way, they're in 10.1.5. Alright? Could these also represent ketchup gear? Uh, probably not, because it says cosmetic. Boom. But, we gotta talk about these. So let's go into this. So, it's unclear how players will acquire them. And then there's questions to be asked. So there's these items on the PTR that say, add, like, let's take this one. Add a ranged weapon appearance of this type to your collection from the past. What, how far in the past? Shadowlands, is that the past? It's technically the past. Vault of the Incarnates is technically the past as well, but we're probably gonna assume at least last expansion is the past uh well we'll talk about it in a little bit so we got the weapons here and then we got headpiece chest legs gloves and shoulders interesting i would assume there would be the full set and then here's the thing the weapons and the armor and stuff is very interesting and we're going to talk about that the implications of those but we need to talk about this reigns of the quantum courser was found in the data and then it dropped from the Dawn of the Infinite dungeon, Mega Dungeon, from the last boss. And then once it was used, the player received Midnight's Eternal Reigns from Legion Karazhan. Um, and I think the per individual didn't have that mount. So it was a new mount for them. And as you can see, we now know from the past, at least means legion back all right what else that means we don't know but let's let's uh unpack this real quick because i have two main points to go over and that's pretty much it so one is what is the past and two what does this include and what does this mainly exclude all right so, we've already kind of got our answer. What is the past? It's at least Legion back. Could be Shadowlands, could be BFA back. And it, at the moment, may give you something you don't have. I'd imagine it's something you don't have. Uh, another big question I had is, can you only get this once? Because it dropped from the Mega Dungeon, right? Were they doing hard mode? Or it probably not enabled, so it probably wasn't hard mode. So it just random dropped from the last boss. How is the drop rate? And can you get it more than once? That's a big thing for me. Uh, maybe individual characters can get it more than once? Or, like... So... My demon hunter could get it once, and then my monk could get it once, but they can't get it a second time, maybe? I don't know, dude. It's whole new territory here. Um, now, here's my thoughts on it. What do we think is excluded? Gladiator mounts? The AQ mount? The, the, the battle tank? The black battle tank? Dude, that has to not be able to be in there. If it could be, dude, oh my god. Uh, what about the Blood Forge Courser? Alright. I don't, I can't imagine you being able to get the 500 mount achievement, or the 500 honor level achievement mount. But, like, that's the question. What are the limitations on it? Is it just drops? Uh, is it going to include black market auction house mounts? So like the Zulian Tiger, the Raptor, the Brutosaur, is that going to be included? 
um, is removed removed stuff going to be included? Like I was saying, um, are gladiator mounts going to be included? Are challenge for the armors? Are challenge modes? Are tier three going to be included? Um, are ahead of the curve mounts going to be included? Um, all these questions I have. I hope they have a post clarifying what we can get from this or the community is going to be going buck wild. Okay? Uh, when this comes out. Because we're going to be like rolling the dice. Alright. Can you get duplicate mounts? I have so many questions. Alright. Now I was going to talk about what I would exclude. But I don't really care about that. You know what matters? Here's the thing. Is this going to be easier to farm mounts than going back to old stuff? At a certain point, are you going to be like, bro, I'm just going to farm this and versus... Or you'd farm Invincible for the week and then farm this to try to get Invincible or something? Like, it's crazy, dude. I'm, I'm so excited for these Quantum items, but I have so many questions. And uh, I love that they brought Quantum Mechanics to WoW. It's really cool. I wonder, so we got the multiverse coming, a video and coming about time rifts, and now we got quantum mechanics. All right, I'm excited. Imagine if this quantum greatsword could give you corrupted Ashbringer. It'd be wild. It'd be fucking wild. Do you think that's good? Do you think that's bad? Honestly, I will say what I would exclude. The only thing I would exclude, legit, like, le I'm talking about include TOGC, include the battle tank, include uh, the black and plague proto, include it all. The only stuff I would, the battle bear, do you know the only stuff I wouldn't include? Gladiator mounts. But, I would include the armor for these. Alright, for the PvP is out there, I think Gladiator Mount should be used as an incentive for PvP. Alright? But for the armor, I don't mind if it's on these. But, maybe you should do the same thing, link it to PvP. But dude, I'm open it up, dude. Ahead of the curve mounts. Phoenixes. I'd finally be able to get the phoenixes. And you would say, oh, but the difficulty. The difficulty is the RNG. I'm rolling the dice with Blizzard. It could take me two billion years till I finally get it, but at least there's a chance, right? That's the whole point of it. I love this. I'm excited. Who knows? If anyone says they know until we get a blue post, they don't know. We don't know what is the past, how long that includes, or... What even is excluded or included or whatever, man. All we know is Midnight's Eternal Rains can drop so far. But anyways, thank you for watching as always, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye-bye.